we're now going to construct another center of a triangle called a circumcenter. This is a point of concurrency that results from three perpendicular bisectors. So we begin by drawing a triangle of any sort. It doesn't really matter. I think it's a good idea to not make it look too regular. You don't want it to be an equilateral. You don't want it to be isosceles if possible. Make it a little bit longer so it doesn't look regular. Because we want it to work for all triangles, not just for specific ones. So perpendicular bisectors. That means it's going to be going through each side in exactly the middle of the bisector and going straight up. It will not necessarily go through the vertex. Begin, begin by constructing perpendicular bisectors, which are simply more than halfway from each corner, more than halfway from each corner, and if I connect the points of intersection, if I construct a line that is both perpendicular and bisecting a side. Let's do the same from the other sides. Little tip, if you choose a length that is more than half of all sides the first time through, you can save yourself time by continuing the same circle around. Let's see. perpendicular and bisects that side. And again, if I've done this carefully and correctly, I should achieve an intersection of the three lines where all three points meet at a single point of concurrency. exactly one point. And in fact, when you're given three perpendicular bisectors like that, that point is called the circumcenter. And what that means is that it is the center of a circle. Now, if I were to figure out exactly where this vertex is, from the center, find exactly how far it is to that vertex, it turns out it's the same distance to that vertex and to that vertex. I can demonstrate that's true by drawing a circle that goes through each vertex with that as my center. That is the value of the circumcenter. It is the center of a circle that connects three vertices. And that concludes construction of a circumcenter of a triangle.